Ahead of the Manchester derby, we're here to look at Manchester's worst start in 11 in the Premier League era. I'm joined by well, the three A's. I've got Adam and, and Alex. And we're going to go through from goalkeepers to forwards and pick the worst player to play for Manchester City or Manchester United. More City players are definitely going to be in there, obviously. So what is it, uh, Adam? We've got two Let, each, basically. Yeah, let's read them out. So we've got four. We've got two from United, two from City. Okay. Obviously, we've got Massimo Taibi mm, yes. from United Taibi. and Check. Roy Carroll. Mm-hmm. So they're your choices, and we've uh, gone with. Or, or the people have voted for David Seaman. Hold on, the people. Or, yeah, yeah, all right, the people. You've been David shortlisted. Seaman. David Seaman or Claudio Bravo. Well, see, my my problem with Seaman is this: is this, <laughs> this, 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 and there we go. <laughs> but this was when we started turning into like the charity shop. Yeah, of, you did of, of you the did, Premier really League, did. and literally it was just like anybody who'd played and done all right five years before for another club. <laughs> we went, and it was literally like you go to church and we go, "That's a nice T-shirt," but then actually you realise it's quite faded, and after a couple of washes, it's done. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> I saw the derby he played in at Old Trafford, and I think Skull scored two, possibly sharing him another one. Yeah. But watching Seaman warm up, we <laughs> had not realised how bad he'd gotten. Because he, he was just a different you player. Did no. you watch him warm up? You're yeah, because, you know, like before the game, oh, right, yeah, yeah, you know, like when they should take shots at him, running. he couldn't bench. Do you know, do he you know was the worst, just old. The worst that's thing all. about David Seaman was he seemed to get shorter as the years went on. <laughs> that is age. Like when he played for England, at his pomp, he looked quite tall. Well, a lot of that was then, hair, if you remember, wasn't it? Do you think it was because he tied it back so it, much yes. that he yeah. made him shrink? He had but a booth on. All I ever think of him is he just couldn't catch. So he, he'd be he's definitely up there. Is Seaman worse than Bravo for well, you? Well, Bravo's crowning moment for City, he, to be fair, he won us a couple of penalty shootouts. Fine, yeah, yeah. granted. And he's a Premier League winner. Fine, granted. Champions League winner at Barcelona. Fine. However, at Barcelona. His, if, if I ever think of Claudio Bravo, I think, I think of him being 10 yards out of his box. Mm-hmm. Catching the ball out to stop of his Messi box, going basically. through. Yeah, yes. yeah, I remember. And for that reason alone, he's in for me. I yeah. also remember him being the sort of right. Joe Hart is your hero, Manchester City hero. Yeah. Pep's first decision was to get rid of him. So there's so much pressure put on Bravo, and you yeah. know it, it maybe just yeah. didn't it, work. He was also well, he was short. Brought, he was brought to to kick because Hart was really <laughs> bad on the ball, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. And then every time he made a mistake, it, the cover was yeah, for he him could, was he could well. Kick. He's a lot better on the ground. Yeah, he could kick, but he had no he hands. He just couldn't. Take, so he had no ten other players so from play football. <laughs> there was a statistic like we had like seven shots against us and there were seven goals. Yeah, so it was a ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> there Which was. Is, it's kind of fundamental for a goalkeeper. What about your two though? So right, our two. So we've got Roy Carroll, who was from, average, yeah. but he's remembered for the goal against Tottenham yeah, the goal from the that halfway line that wasn't given. But he was he was not great, but he wasn't anywhere close was to as bad as Taibi, <laughs> who actually had possibly I think the best derby. I think he played against Liverpool in his in his debut. Sorry, not not the derby, the debut. Yeah, and he was incredible. And we were like, "Oh, we've saved like the <laughs> next. We've signed the next Schmeichel here. The next, yeah. <laughs> and then the the week after, he let one an easy one go in, and everyone's a bit like, "Oh well, you know, everyone makes mistakes." The week after that, he let one through his legs that was essentially a pass back well, against Southampton. I think. I, I think on that alone, he'd be my choice because I he's, think he's worse. He's the only one in a blooper reel, apart yeah. from Seaman and Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's different. Also, I'd put him in for the reason that he was the first goalkeeper to start wearing tracksuit bottoms <laughs> that were just bought yeah, like definitely. from yeah, Sports yeah, Direct. Yeah, yeah. They weren't yeah, even yeah. like club and ones. And as well with that, there seems to be no set time of year when you can wear. They just wear. Them no, all this year is in round. summer. Yeah, this yeah. Is the problem. There was that kind of weird period for United where you had Fabian Barthez, you had uh, the Tim Howard, then Roy Carroll, where, where you know Fergie didn't know what, who his main goalkeeper would be before Van der Sar came in and saved it. So I think that's why Roy Carroll is in here because he, he wasn't there for the, the sort of glory years under United yeah. and he made some mistakes and we look at him like that. But Taibi for me definitely, definitely edges Taibi. Roy Carroll. Taibi. He's worse than Seaman. <laughs> Seaman, I mean. yeah. Get right. Seaman out. Cool. Right, so trying to decide who the worst left back is in the combined worst Manchester eleven. <laughs> can we can we go for the United ones this time instead? Okay, yeah, you yeah. can bring up the United Rojo. ones. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, That's yeah, Rojo. no, I I agree with Rojo actually. <laughs> so we've we got we've got Rojo, um, we've got Alexander Butner, <laughs> we've got Silvino for City and Jason Van Blair for who, City. Uh, that, yeah, City for this one, I think we're a little bit safer. Silvino was another charity shot by, yep. but for his goal against Scunthorpe alone. Keep him out of this. Keep him out of this. Jason Van Blerk is beyond me. That is such a random selection. <laughs> <laughs> that it just he can't get in on that basis alone. No, what, Jason Van Vleck was just you know not good enough. Just, he's, 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 he's not an good awful en- left back. Not good so enough. Then how, how did he get to the club? Not good enough to be in this. But he's that bad. 
that he's just we can't even put him in. I can't there. remember anything about Van Blerk. I've not even me neither. Did he play? At I all? don't know. <laughs> I, I love the fact no, that I, his name pretty much describes <laughs> what he was like as well. Blurk. How was he, Van Blerk? Yeah, he starts Blurk. off Van. You get good Van players, but then Van Blerk not too Jason good for us. Van, Van Blerk. So from our point no. of view, we'd got one no. of the first hipster footballers Butner. in the UK, Butner, with yeah. his tattoos and his spiky hair, and he was one of those players that you always like the look of. And you'd yeah. watch him and you'd think, oh, he's got to be good. He looks like he's going to be you, really you were, good. You wanted him to be... You really wanted him the, to succeed. You know, the next left back for United. And this was in a time when we'd sort of got rid of... Ever was at the end, wasn't he? Before him, we'd had Sylvester, so we'd, and, and Irwin before that. So left back was a position that we just always assumed was... Yeah. Well, you just get a brilliant Fine. player and keep him for 10 years but, and then... Bit of pressure though, isn't it, going into that? Yeah, well, wasn't he under yeah, the uh, like Makeda era where these were going to become the best players? A bit of all after, time? a little bit after. <laughs> they were going to be some of the best players. Because you had like the class of '92, and then they tried to replicate a few years ago, and it yeah. was just like the the. the, the I don't like the Breakfast Club of United. Yeah, I mean, there's <laughs> only let's think there's only probably Darren Fletcher, wasn't there, who got Champions League winning medal, Carrick and then of course Boy. Wes Brown, he was yes. also another youth team product, who so got a Champions League medal. So well, you're talking got a big move, didn't he, to, to Dortmund? You're and talking, then, and talking and then, rubbish. <laughs> but why is Rojo in this? So I'm surprised. Well, Ro- Rojo's <laughs> abysmal. I'm <laughs> Rojo is abysmal. <laughs> Rojo, <laughs> so he's <laughs> also a hipster World sort of left finalist. back. World Cup finalist. World Cup finalist. Did he win? Yeah. No. no. So but when all, yeah. um, when Van de, uh, Van Hal signed him, he signed like what looked like a fantastic left back, yeah. stroke centre half, one of the like the great tradition of like really tough, hard tackling, <laughs> no nonsense Argentinian centre halves. We just lost Vidic, if you remember, a season before, yeah. and this we was like the perfect like replacement. I'm surprised that he's in there. But he's played. I once, don't have to watch He's him played week once this week. season. This is the thing. He was. Under uh, Marina or under Solskjaer? Uh, he played under Solskjaer against Arsenal Ooh. at home. Gave a, scored an own goal and then set up a winner <laughs> or something. But that's typically him. He goes in two-footed <laughs> any time the ball's even close to him. He should have been sent off about ten times in his career. He's available but not even that, 50% of the good thing that he didn't time. get sent off, though? And it's crazy it's that lucky he's though. still playing for Manchester But United. he isn't playing. This is the thing. He's, he played about 20-ish games or something in his first season. And then he's like some sort of scientific half-life yeah. where each season goes past. He goes... 10 Ten games, five games, four. See, it, so for think, me, you could have Rojo because he's. I think United are in, in again for me. Oh, yeah, Although Van Blurk's yeah, called Blurk. Yeah. People at home, well, isn't if, it? If yeah, any of these players are watching, I'd just like to say it's not personal. Yeah. Well, Rojo will be gone, <laughs> won't he? <in> summer, <laughs> no, so I don't care. It. Okay, we're on to right backs now. So, Willem, why have I got the one that's difficult to say? Oh, Jonathan Spector and three others. Willem of Varela. Christian Nguai, who makes City fans go, <laughs> even on Twitter, <laughs> no. and uh, Lauren Chave. Um, right, well, where on earth do we start here? Um, we'll start with you. Can we have two City right backs, please? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> yeah, Both you of them are can. Uh, Genuinely. You can, this, you can put one at left back and get this, rid of Rojo. I was going to say, for, for the people, please, can we have Chave at left back and Nguai at right back? Nguai was signed as a, sen- a central midfielder, right? And... Kevin Keegan said he was the most exciting signing he ever made. Isn't that the worst thing to ever say about a player, though? Uh, well, it is when the player couldn't play football because A, he was constantly injured. He came on for his Premier League debut three years after he started, after he signed. <laughs> three Dan- years after? Yeah, for, Dan- for, for Danny Mills. Wow. For Danny Mills. So he, he as well was a got away with one here but never mind hang on <laughs> by that same rationale why is Mendy not in here then wait no. wait da- Danny on. Mills did it hang the other on. way around oh. he was injured for the last why is Mendy, Mendy not in here in so, hang on Nagui- so Nagui came on Sorry. and uh, <laughs> Nagui came on with I think it was about 10 minutes to go at, at home to Everton and got sent off within 3 minutes and that was it we never saw him again so he's he, <laughs> so the other players on the list Lauren I Charvet, think we need to just so, stop it no Charvet no, <laughs> yeah. Char- no, no. Uh, Char- it, it, it Char- depends on the category that you're doing if you're doing it uh, the most money it's cost you for minutes played then it's him all the way <laughs> yeah, yeah but Charve we signed again from Newcastle in 2000 yeah 2000. it was around that point yeah uh, from Newcastle and he brought lots of promise but was Utterly <laughs> dreadful. Yeah. And he, how many points do you get for promise in the Premier League? Well, he's the one who had the most votes from City fans on Twitter. Wow! So wow. he wow. he also okay. n- probably needs to displace Rojo at left back for me. Either way, That's those fine. two are dreadful. That's fine with me. Yeah, right. yeah, what yeah. about Spectre then? Who, who Spectre. is Varela and who is Spectre? Well, Spectre was like an American. He looked like one of the Waltons, basically. <laughs> <laughs> got like a. But you sort of brought into that American market, like <laughs> yeah. so. That's trying to track the Americans. He, he, our our official sort of hey sponsor. 
sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, it's difficult to describe him if you've not seen him, isn't it? You know, um, you know, Daenerys Targaryen's brother. <laughs> That's basically Jonathan Spectre. Hopefully did, now and then. Did, did, did Spectre last longer up, than your yeah. brother did in Game of Thrones? Yeah. Again, Spectre was like one of those. He was like a backup fullback, really, wasn't he? So he's never going to get in above, was above Evera or Neville. So Spectre's a bit unfair. And then he went to Fulham or something, and he did all right for a couple of years. Um, and Varela was well, Varela. It was like a year. It's, it's only a couple of years not, ago. Not long and ago. he was, yeah, he was like a, a little right back. He only played like two or three games, and he was. A, I think we bought him, and he went straight into your the guys. reserves. Never no. didn't play for three the other years. thing on Chave, Just Always so we more. can definitely <laughs> get him in. Played twenty games for us. We only won five. And I know we were bad back then, but he was basically at fault for all of the other goals. All the people I've are voting, but I think that later. Later. Go on. Yeah. I better start than that later. Oh, for later, right, yeah. we'll save that. Now it's on to the centre-backs. Now there's one name in here that it's not, that I want to bring up, but maybe we'll move on from that. Uh, Prunier, McGibbon, uh, Jerome Boateng and Mangala. The second player is st- who's still playing for a club. Because <laughs> we had Rojo there. before, uh, and now Mangala. I, I You've think, just signed an only year extension. I think, again... The United ones have been cheap picks. What do you mean? Who cheap on picks? earth is William Prunier? William <laughs> McGibbon. Did William they, did they even put the shirts on? <laughs> right, Prunier. Because I've never seen a shirt with those names on the back. <laughs> yeah, because who would get a shirt? I think with he, Pat I think McGibbon he played. On the back. He signed mid-season Prunier from France from a French team. Can't remember Naturally. who. He was French. Is this a gag? Marseille. No, no. He played centre half. He looked like. Um, <laughs> he always yes, described him as. I'm just trying to describe him to people. No, no. He was like. You know if. If you were to phone like Central Casting and say we need someone to play death, <laughs> that's what Prunier looked like. That's he what was a centre back should be. Though. Weird, exactly. That's weird. exactly. Now so he looked the part. He was about six foot no. two, six foot three, touched bald head, really mean, evil face. Um, and then he put, he played one game, and everyone was a bit like, well, that wasn't great. And then he played the second game, and I think he got subbed <laughs> off. And it was like I don't know how, whether Counter had, had a word. Was or he a real player? or Was he like one of these? He was abysmal. That just tried it he played. On. No. He okay, played twice, I think. Pat McGibbon was a youth team player. Yeah. I didn't even think he was a centre half. I thought he was, <laughs> but he, again, he played like half a game or something and got I, took. And I just so. was just not not good enough to make the call. I court. think ours are unfair. Why? Jerome, Jerome Boateng, Boateng, World Cup winner. Hang on. Oh, you're home, thinking on the World Cup. Not talking about talking about he, Premier just, League. Yeah, yeah. Is no. he, he wasn't so, that bad. No, the thing with Boateng was Boateng never wanted to be at City. Yeah, this right? is very true. He got himself injured on the plane coming over to play for us. He was confused. The hostess trolley, like, basically... Was he the one who said he thought he was signing for United? No, that was Rubinho. No, that was Rubinho. Um, and the, Chelsea. Yeah, <laughs> the, uh, or just anyone. The uh, the hostess trolley came past, hit his leg or his ankle or his shin. Three knots. And then he couldn't play for a, about two months after that. Only played, like... Yeah, was, 20 games of games. that How quick and then was the, the hostess was, going right, uh, exactly <laughs> and then the thing was I think it was the Etihad was because when he came back he came back playing for Bayern Munich a couple of years later got sent off got sent off after 16 minutes so he just didn't like playing yeah, he didn't really like playing yeah, to be fair he's been at, and when we beat him at home he was at fault for two of Aguero's goals so I quite like him for that. Mangala, on the other hand. <laughs> yeah, awful player. You've got to believe but me that Prunier was one of the worst players I've ever seen. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay so... He we'll, was unbelievably between terrible. Us, we'll put Prunier in. But Mangala, right? You we know, should, if, if we should have was, a helpline running at the bottom <laughs> yeah, just in case William's watching. He won't well, be, he won't be watching. He's, he'll be dead now. He was about 80 when we signed him. <laughs> Mangala he'll still plays now. for City. Yeah, he's just yes. signed a new deal as well. Just signed a new one-year extension. But before you start, Phil Jones signed a new five-year deal. This is back off. But beforehand, he's played 57 times for City. He's won the Premier League and was part of a Premier League winning squad. However, one issue, his debut, he was man of the match against Chelsea at home. Yep, uh, amazing ma- game. Match of the day said he was colossal, looked like the best centre-half that the Premier League had seen for a long time. The next game, we were 2-0 up against Hull. He scored an own goal and gave away a penalty. And from there, it's just been a real fast decline. You see, the problem is with Match of the Day, it's the edits. And it's not just the edits of the game, it's the punditry. And when they said he was colossal, they cut off the bit where he said he was a colossal mistake. And he no, continues he to prove that. He, he, he did really well against Costa, and I came away from that game thinking, company and Mangala, we've <laughs> nailed it. We didn't. Mangala needs Who are we going for then? I'm going for Prunier. Yeah, Every whatever, day of the week, Prunier is probably Mangala the worst player I've ever seen. Boating, boating. 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 To them to decide. Boating. Prunier. Right, so on to left midfielders. There's some, <laughs> some quite quite well-known names in here. We've got Angel Di Maria. Yep. And Snake. Bebe. 
from United and we've got Scott Sinclair and Steve McManaman who's probably technically a right winger or a central midfielder but we just had to get him in we needed yeah. to get him <laughs> in to <laughs> <the> just <laughs> for his <laughs> punditry alone I'll go with McManaman again classic charity shot buy as well yeah, yeah it's like he, he'd done alright for Liverpool a few years ago if, we'll get him if in. you did this to me I'd think are you Steve McManaman because that's all he did was he, didn't run. he pointed at everything at all the balls he wanted to play but then realised he was five yards behind the pace and couldn't play them anyway well I'll start with Di Maria because obviously Louis van Gaal broke him in, into, into the summer it was a six time <laughs> yeah, yeah 60 mm-hmm. or just bringing that up. <laughs> uh, it was also the, when he got the number seven and there was that curse of the number seven shirt that was floating about and because continues. Depay as well let's not forget before somehow he's been left out of uh, Memphis Depay yeah, at least you've sorted it with um, Sanchez now the so number seven curse struck on Angel Di Maria because he just didn't give it for Manchester United. He had a couple of good games against Leicester, but I'm sure we got. He was great against Leicester. We got three, beat five, five three. three. But he he had a couple of good games. Where we thought, okay, this this promise here. But as time went by, it just all crumbled. The thing with Di Maria was when he signed, he just was the player of. The, he was the man of the match in the European Cup final. That was his last game for Real Madrid. Yeah. Then we got him, and we were just thinking. This is the level of player that gets us back on top post Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Fun favourite, though, isn't he now? He's, oh, he but was he's, absolutely he's, he's done all right. So, so did you just play him out of no, position? No, he hasn't done all right. He hasn't done all right. He, this is the thing. You say play him out of position. He's a Paris team that can't even get past the United. He played, top, he played left six, wing, the, right wing, yeah, central midfield. Right he played as a holding personal. midfielder at one point. He played as a number 10. Because Van Gaal went, look, he is great. We'll put him everywhere. And then it was like, oh, hang on. Ashley Young's now taking his place in his preferred position. What about Bebe? I feel a little bit Well, here's the thing with Bebe. I think the the joke of saying Bebe has become he? bigger than the actual player himself. He, he was an Bebe. accident. It's just funny to yeah, say yeah, Bebe is the worst I think he was player. one of those, um, like a YouTube player, wasn't he? You never meant to sign been... him, let's be honest. He couldn't believe his luck when you signed him. No, um, I, I don't know how it happened. There was, I really don't know how I'm it happened. I'm sure the story goes I think it's like it a was... video was shown to Ferguson and they went, oh, you can have him for cheap. And he was like, oh, great, we'll I'll have him. And it. then... There, yeah. there are bigger issues well. than Steve McManaman. Yeah, well, well, Scott Sinclair, pretty promising. He's kind of done all right at Celtic. He's but done then, great, yeah. Yeah, but then yeah. Samaras did all right at Celtic and as well. And he did well so at Swansea as well, so... Yeah. 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 Scott Sinclair's done all right for him. I, so I don't s- think he's deserving enough of being but the it's worst. But it's about how they played for, for the Manchester clubs. In that case, I'm still having McManaman. <laughs> the yeah, be- McManaman, McManaman. The, out of them all, the best player there is Di Maria, who played the worst. That's why I'd have him. Okay, on to right midfield. So we've got uh, Gabriel Obatan, David Bellion, uh, Jesus Navas and Nolito. I think we'll go back to uh, Alex's point about when you call the uh, casting helpline and I think you, if you put Obaton it was more can I have an assassin please yeah, he assassin. kind of like bald head looked like he was hard he looked like, like, him, man. He looked like yeah. a baddie in Star Trek who had like this massive brain didn't he <laughs> yeah, just had a yeah. giant head he just couldn't that, use actually, it actually, I think it was what was like Star slowing him down and ball up and moved it where they wanted it to <laughs> wasn't he the massive head as well? yeah, the balls used to fall no to no it. he was like a squad number uh, do you know how I, do you know how I know that because I saw United pre-season and I saw Obaton and he ran and it was like watching a gazelle he was <laughs> lightning fast so I came back and I was like that to my son I was going listen I've seen the best player we've you're never going to see a player like this so he wanted my son wanted the new black shirt which had the blue V on yeah. and he was like oh should I have on should I have like Rooney on I was like oh, oh, oh Batan's oh, the did, future did. mate yeah. Yeah. You did. my oh my son God. has got a black got United shirt. kit <laughs> yeah. Yeah. with Obertan on the back and it's my fault Jesus Navas is probably the fastest player in a straight line of all time yes. it's just a shame that all he can do is run in a straight I like yeah. Navas. I think he was no, all right. Yeah, he was quite good. I, I, I really like Navas. I, I really liked him. Really wanted to do well. He started off well as well. But the problem was, like every single cross. Right, hit the first man. No. It didn't matter it, where the first man was. No one likes right? him. We could have Valencia in for that very yeah, reason. Yeah, was like a family member that you had to see now and again, but you didn't want to. Like he just turned up. He never he's seemed, back in he the never Spain seemed squad. that bad. To when I saw him, he never sure seemed that bad. Now three goals. Yeah, he scored a couple of goals, and the thing was, uh, he's got a place in my heart just because. No. Like before he left, he ran a uh, Twitter Q and A with him with the hashtag Ask Jesus, which is just <laughs> hilarious. And Nelito <laughs> was fine for about six games. Nelito yeah, was a weird went, signing. Yeah, again, that was another Guardiola signing. Wasn't a wonderful it? slicked back dude. They don't mention this, do they? No, no, um, they keep this quiet. Yeah. But you could have a, an old time eleven of Guardiola. Right. Well, yeah. well, well, two years. Got Let's move on from into David well. Bellion. Bellion yeah. was he was French. He was a kid. <laughs> he was French. This is quite an anti-French. So was he a footballer? He was. I think he was. Yeah, but he was nineteen. He was signed as a centre forward. I think I remember he played against Arsenal in the League Cup and he scored when we beat him one 0 And I think that was when Kieran Richardson had a massive kick off. Yeah, there was a bit of a fight oh, at yeah, Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another Navas, one. Navas was good, but uh, well, no. I don't know. I mean, it's up to the people. 
OK, on to centre midfield, the engine room of the team, if you will. Uh, we have got four nominations. Juan Sebastian Verón. <laughs> Sorry, you've just said engine room and it says Jack Rodwell. <laughs> <laughs> Juan Sebastian Verón, who, yeah. you know, he's basically like the classic Ferrari. How much did you spend on him? Oh, God knows. In I two, think he was actually like 32 was, million. He was so frustrating. Was, was that, uh, did he come the, the summer that um, Beckham scored the penalty against Argentina in the World Cup? I, I think, think he was so, there about 03, was wasn't yeah, he? 02, yeah, yeah. 03, on, something continue. like that. Um, he else? used to wear a little bandage under his knee that was for luck. Wow, yeah. it didn't do him much. Like that's Jamie Vardy. But do you know what? Off. He was he was so lightweight, it looked to weigh him down, yeah. genuinely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric Jemba um, Jemba? Jemba Jemba was signed as a sort of Roy Keane replacement. And, and it sort of fell, didn't it? it you, yeah, I think what the thing is about heavy. these players is they, you buy them in for promise. And, and they, like you say, we've mentioned quite a lot of people have had good debuts. And then you build yourself up, you said, Oberson, like a yeah. gazelle. And then it's the fall that gets us. And I think that's why a lot of players well, are in this list. The, because yeah. the fall happened. So and the about difference promise. is Jemba Jemba came out after Keenan Skulls and you know, with Harry and Fletcher task. there an so it was like task. he was never going to be number one do you know what I mean it wasn't it's not a big deal then you've got Jack Rodwell well, can you we skip him career. for a second okay I, and Usman Dabo yeah Dabo um, all you can say about Dabo is he's not known for playing football at which he was terrible at some of these players like you say are good debuts in good games mm. he didn't have any no good games what year is he from is he uh, so from like Stuart Pearce, early, yeah, early um, about no. 2004 yeah. um, he's, he's best <laughs> the good known old days. For before being, we had stupid amounts of money yeah, to spend he, he was the best known for being the man that Joey Barton put a cigar out in his eye oh right oh right really? wow. that's Usman Dabo that's how anyone knows he exists well give him a break then he couldn't see could he <laughs> he couldn't <laughs> see What's before he, doing he couldn't see he before he on. yeah he wore an eye patch <laughs> no, he did, not yeah. playing <laughs> oh, right. he may as well have done <laughs> but was, was, was that, was that <laughs> right? I'm just trying to get him to, to, to play football properly no go over there go over, go over there <laughs> what like a horse when yeah. he put the, put the blinkers on him <laughs> what what um, they're calling him a horse I want him Jack Rodwell I literally want him definitely in the team you talked about promise and Jack Rodwell was at this time when we were, we were bringing new players in and obviously they were bringing in the rule with having English players in Europe and having like that Scott so Sinclair. Like, and, and also yeah, he, he, was, he was versatile he could be in a number of positions but he, and he just didn't get in the squad didn't get in the squad at all and actually people think it was a waste of money buying him for the, what we got back from him but actually I think we did really well to get rid of him when we did yeah. because he then went on to Sunderland and brilliantly it was something like 1,370 days he was at Sunderland without them winning a game and wow. that's pretty impressive and he is now one of Sunderland's most hated players because in that Sunderland documentary he was said he was quite happy taking the paycheck and not playing yeah he wouldn't be and now he's, he's, played, he's played more <laughs> games for Blackburn than he did for Sunderland and City no way so. Jack Fair Rodwell Jack could Rodwell. get in there could get in there yeah maybe Right, the big one, centre forwards, and there are some big names and, some and, and big bodies as well. Big names, big bodies, I'm gonna big throw in a signings. As well. Right, well, we've got. <laughs> I'll start with City. We've got <laughs> Joe. <sighs> let's just no. Let's not say anything I could because. Do better. Yeah, Bernardo Caradi. Again, the fact remains. Diego Forlan and no. Alexis Sanchez. Diego, no. Now, you know, with those two, what you've got are players that are other clubs have been incredible. Right, you look at Forlan's career. I don't know how Forlan's career. In. Here's yeah. one I want to put in. Get rid of Forlan, Danny Welbeck. No, I'm saying no, no. Danny no. Welbeck. Welbeck he's, he's injured failure. at the minute. He's Danny probably, Welbeck. Oh, oh honestly, he's, God, when he one of the worst United. forwards I've ever seen. He should have scored against Bayern Munich when uh, David Moyes went and got us to the quarterfinals. And then goes on to Arsenal to sit on the bench for a couple of years. He's caused the odd goal it's here. It's not there. to do with when he was at Arsenal. I'm just though. saying, but he was poor. This what is personal. the reason we this sold him for 18 million well, pounds. Sanchez, yeah. Welbeck was all right. Welbeck was all right. It was Forlan's all right. I'm not having either of them. Sanchez. Then yeah. for you to Sanchez. yeah Sanchez I will I'd have literally Sanchez any day every day of the week he could be in any position he's ruined, he doesn't actually he's ruined play in Manchester any United's position he has back back because of the wage structure and we, we were that close to getting him six months before oh, you were we yeah you you were you were so we can do that noise all you want mate you welcome to him would you also like Joe and Bernardo Karadi I remember Joe very well because it was fifty years or six years since Munich no it was fifty. 
when the scarves yeah. were at Old Trafford, and it was a no, very that was Benjani. Yeah, it was Benjani. Yeah, yeah, that was scored, 08 didn't he? No, no, no. no. Uh, Joe, not Joe score? barely scored. Yeah. Joe, yeah, Joe scored Jai. once, once when in the Jai league, once in the Premier League, league yeah. wasn't yeah. it? Twice yeah. in the Europa League. Yeah. Joe, he, 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 when he when he came, it was the first guy that Mark Hughes signed, and he said he's going to be very exciting. Everyone's excited to watch him play, and nobody was. Right? And it was like we we already had we'd had Alano, and it was like oh another Brazilian, brilliant. This is great. It's a sign of where we're going. He then went on loan to Everton and got sent back on the sent back from his loan which isn't a good thing then we sent him somewhere else and we couldn't get rid of him we paid a lot of money for him so but the thing was again that's an example when he was at CSK garbage. Moscow before he came to us I think he played uh, 144 games and scored 77 you think, goals you've googled but, you don't <laughs> think oh I mean, just think oh, I just yeah. think he was six foot three and <laughs> birthdays in July what are you talking about so Samara scored 400 <laughs> goals in 12 games or something in, in Holland and he was terrible he didn't do you know what Samara has done well Danny I'll well, get you Sanchez on. quote Bernardo Carardi he he for me is the one on basically this whole list who needs to get in because he was one of those players when we had Karadi and we had Bianchi around the same era. Thought, right, one of them's not, not great, but this is the one. Karadi started okay, but in that season he just about scored more goals than he got sent off. Against United he got sent off for diving, which was just about the final nail in Karadi's And I think he was pocket. one of the first players to be sent off for diving as well at that time. Yeah, it was bad. You, you it was that bad. As well. He was bad. <laughs> Three, three goals and two red cards was but Diego Karate. can get right off that list because yeah. he scored twice out well on the field. He's out. Welbeck's not going well in either because he's from with well Chelsea. Yeah, 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 but it's all well right. We were saying that about it. You talk about Welbeck. How much are you selling for? 18 million pounds. That's all right. That's good. How much do you sell Rashford? How much Rashford have you spent? I would never sell Rashford. Million. Okay, okay. Million. That's how, that's how poor much, Welbeck was. We just got rid of him during this little conversation. Probably the same amount we asked about Welbeck for. Ridiculous. Yeah. Sanchez and whoever, I don't Karate. care. Just get rid of Sanchez. <laughs> I don't Can't stand care. him. And you can have your say on this by going on to MCR Footy Social on Twitter and having a vote for Manchester's worst starting eleven. We're going to be doing a different position every day so you can have your say and who is going to be featured in that worst starting eleven. Do you think if we manage to get that starting eleven together and challenge them to a game? We'd win. <laughs> <laughs>